Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Zero Shin here. So today I have the Nyko PowerShell case for the Nintendo Switch, and this is a charging case for the Switch, which uh, allows you to charge your Switch in tabletop mode or in handheld mode. So if we take a look on the back here, we have some information on the case that I'll show you in a little bit. But uh, right down here, in addition to the charging case, you also get one tempered screen protector. We'll see if that's uh, glass or just plastic. Uh, one removable cleaning cloth. I'm not sure what they mean by removable, but we'll figure out in just a second And you also get one micro USB charging cable. All right, so let's take a look Ah, it's really in there <laughs> Okay All right, so Here's the case. Alright, so in this little thing here you have the screen protector and the cleaning cloth. So, let's see. Yep, that would be just a regular old uh, plastic screen protector. I usually um, throw on glass screen protectors on my Switch, but this is nice that they added that in there. And the cleaning cloth here is actually pretty nice. It's not a tiny cheap one like this. Yeah, well... We'll test that out in a second here. And you also get a uh, manual of some sort. It's just some information on how to use the case. Okay, so the case itself is wrapped in this nice plastic. Let's take that off. And, wow. It's actually very nice and, um, it's plastic, but uh, it has a nice rubberized texture to it. I like this little design they put on it. It's very subtle. Nothing too crazy. There's only one color for this case, and that's a, uh, sort of looks, actually, yeah, it's more of a grayish color than, yeah, it's more of a grayish color. I thought it was more of like a, a blackish color, but it's more gray. Um, here's the side. It's got the two hinges on the back. And then these two grooves here, I'm, I'm not, not really sure what they are. Maybe they're for gripping the case, holding it like that. Yeah, I guess something like that. And then on the bottom you have uh, four rubber feet, so it helps hold the case uh, on a table or whatever you're putting it on. You can see on the side here the uh, micro USB port and the uh, four LED indicating lights for charging and whatnot. So let's open this case up. Open it up, the, that little button there. Just press that in and it folds out just like that. And then here would be the, um, the micro USB charging cable to charge the actual case. I would say maybe that's like two feet or so, something like that. So inside the case here you have the, um, the Type-C cable, which uh, actually wraps around the perimeter of the case, so um, if you want to charge the case but still play in handheld mode, you can just take it out like that and you can just use it like that. Now as far as how long this cable is, it's uh, 2.3 feet. Now all along the case there's all this foam around to help protect the switch while it's in the case. So you have it uh, for the back of the case, you have um, on the back side of the kickstand, which I'll show you in a little bit. So when you close the, uh, the case, this part will be actually going onto the screen. So no worries there. And then you have it all over here. And then you have it where the Type-C cable kind of stows away, and then you have it on both of the uh, analog triggers. Now up top here, in the middle, you'll see the kickstand, which uh, neatly clips in here, so when you close the stand, it doesn't uh, hit your switch. Kind of just pops out like that, then clicks in place like that. And then here you have six slots for games, but uh, each slot holds two games, so that's you can hold a total of 12 games, which is very, very nice. And then, actually, let me pull that out again. You can uh, hold uh, four micro SD cards. Um, personally, I'm not going to use those, but uh, it's nice that they add that option in for you. I don't have it on camera, but earlier I was uh, filming one part, and um, I actually tried putting one in, and it got stuck in there, which uh, kind of freaked me out because that had all my uh, save date on it, but... I would just say that um, when you're putting in the micro SD cards, 
do it very carefully because this foam here, uh, how I got it out is uh, you kind of just lift it up. And if you can see in there, that's where the slots where the micro SD cards go. I accidentally pushed it up a little bit farther. So uh, it went over up top this part. So it kind of got stuck in there. So um, I would just say be very careful when you're putting that in there. All right, so let's try out those game card holders. Start off by putting uh, Skyrim in there. So all you really do is you just kind of uh, clip them in there. So you take it, you just press it down right in there. Just kind of goes in there. And then you can also put another game. Let's take Doom. Amazing game, by the way. Just put it right on top of it. And it just clips into place. And let's try Super Mario Odyssey. Incredible, incredible game. And then you just... Oh, wait. Let's flip that around. Just click it in there. And then when you want to take it out, um, there's this little groove you can put your finger in. And then it just pops right out like that. So let's uh, pop my switch in there. All right, so here's the switch. Goes in just like that. It's a very snug fit. Um, and then yeah, once once you have everything in there, just close it up like that, and then you just click it. So yeah, there it is, all closed up. Pretty hefty, I'd say, but uh, it's a lot more thinner than I thought it would be. Um, but of course. Uh, 5,000 milliamp battery shouldn't be too too big um, So let's try that uh, that charging capability That's the real standpoint of this case actually before I do that. Let's um Let's try that that cleaning cloth the cloth laid out is actually as big as the switch so Hmm, I think I get what they mean by uh, removable uh cleaning cloth, but let's see how well it cleans. I always like keeping my switch screen very clean. There you go. Nice. That's uh, actually pretty, pretty usable. Um, so I think I know what they mean by removable now. And charging the case is very simple. All you have to do is Plug in the provided micro USB cable to a uh, wall outlet, and then just plug it into the micro USB port right here, and there you go. And then these LED lights will indicate that it's charging, and it's saying that it's charging on the third bar. Open the case up. I guess what they like the intention here was they wanted you to put it in. Like that, and then the switch just will lay on top of it and adds no difference at all. Or even you could, I guess you can like fold it up, put it there or something. Well, maybe it wouldn't be good there because it would just fall out. So I guess it, you would have to put it there, but I like this cleaning cloth. I'm actually going to use it. Um, so let's try out that uh, the charging capability. To charge the uh, the switch, um, if you wanna, let's do it with the stand first. So you take the stand out, goes out like this, and you flip it over, and then you kind of just, if you see these two notches here, you put it in one of those, and it'll uh, stand up like that. And then these two little pins here correspond with the two little uh, uh, parts in here. So you would just kind of put your switch on just like that. This isn't the only position. You can also up like that and then right there you have a, a nice position there. It's definitely a step up from the little tiny uh, kickstand on the switch. And so if you want to charge it while it's uh, in the tabletop mode, this little button here is what you press to uh, uh, activate the uh, charging. And then when you press that button, you'll see these uh, little indicating lights come on. So let's do that real quick. 
So let's plug in the switch, just like that, and then and then we'll press the button here. See the lights came on, and there we go. Now we're charging. Okay. So just to show you there, we're charging, and like I said, you can even just let's say you don't want to have that, you can just put that back in there. That would just come out, and you can play in handheld mode just like this while it's still charging. And I'll, it's really the only uh, switch case that I've come across so far where you you still have the charging capabilities, but it's not a case where you know you, you slap it, you slap it on the back of the switch and it makes it all bulky and thick. And I don't know, I just don't like those. Granted, they do have more like way more battery life than this one does. I've seen one that has like. 10,000 milliamps, but I don't know. It just kind of makes the switch too thick. And with this case, you can still have that, that capability of charging on the go while still just having your switch uh, the way it is. And, you know, when you have something like that on the back of your switch, let's say you want to play in TV mode, well, it kind of defeats that, that, that purpose of it. So you kind of have to take it off and put it in the dock, and then when you're done with that, you gotta put it on again. So, I think it's a lot more uh, convenient. Now, something that I wanted to add on is that you can't charge your switch while the case is closed uh, because of this little button here. So, we're charging. So, imagine the case closing. It'll hit this button, and then you see. Now, there's probably a couple reasons they did this. I think the most obvious reason was because I think it was more of a when you need the battery life now, you use it then rather than, you know, you're, you're charging and then maybe you, you forget about your switch and then it'll just waste all the battery in there. I don't know, something like that. I think it's actually pretty smart that they added that in there so you can uh, conserve your battery life for when you really, really need it. Now, this is a fantastic Nintendo Switch case. Um, if I didn't say the price already, it's $30, so you're really getting your bang for your buck. But uh, besides the kind of awful micro SD card slots, there is another con that might be a little bit talked about, uh, and it's namely with the kickstand. Now, it's not because the kickstand is bad. I mean, it could be better. It could be better. But it's not because it's bad. It's just that um, Nyko did not put any um, air intake vent cutouts for the Switch. Now, if you don't know what those are, if we take a look on the back of the Switch here, uh, these two vents here, they're not for aesthetics. They're not speakers or anything. They're actually air intake vents. So in a nutshell, basically what they do is that they um, help the circulation of air through the system. So air will go through here um, and then it will blow over all the hot components and everything and then the switch's fan will uh, take that air spin around and then blow that hot air out well when you have a ki when you have a kickstand that sort of i mean it doesn't block it all the way maybe there's like this much left but when you have a case that uh, blocks those vents uh, you're kind of prohibiting it to be cooling efficient. And in essence, you're kind of frying your switch. Now, I haven't heard any Reddit posts or uh, Twitter posts or anything saying that their switch was fried or they couldn't, uh, the switch wouldn't work anymore when they unknowingly uh, cover these vents up, but they're there for a reason. And I don't know, it, it's kind of just, I don't know, when you're blocking those, it's it's just, it feels a little weird it's always kind of like a better safe better safe than sorry situation i mean it, it it might not mean anything at all but it might not be a huge deal but that's kind of my problem with these stands really awesome stands but if you look there's no again there's no cutouts for the intake vents now that's why i think the best stand for the switch that you can possibly get is um the hori play stand or any of the other, like any other stands that have cutouts for those, I just think it's, it, it, I don't know, it just makes me feel better about using the stands. 
But overall, this is an incredible Nintendo Switch case. If you're looking for one that is a charging case, but you don't have to slap on a gigantic monstrosity on, on, on the back of your Switch just to charge it. And it just looks nice. It really does. Um, nothing, nothing on it feels cheap. It feels actually what you paid for and more. I think it was originally $40 or something. Um, but let's do a little bit of comparing. So price-wise, um, the Nyko PowerShell case is $10 more than the TomTok Slim case. And if I remember the price, uh, $50 less than a City Slicker case. And you get more functionality uh, with this case than either. Well, minus the... Uh, the added storage of the city slicker case but honestly everything you need is pretty much in here already I mean you have the um, the storage for your game cards you can hold up to 12 12 games um, you have the kickstand and you have the built-in charger um, with the internal battery so it's awesome what you're getting here and just for comparison of how thick the case is obviously the TomTok slim case is much more thinner than this one and this would be how thick it is compared to the City Slicker case. So all in all, incredible Switch case. Minus, uh, you know, a couple hiccups here and there with the micro SD card slots and the, you know, no air intake vent cutouts. That was my review of the Nyko PowerShell case. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, see you later.